Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's Jody Breckville, Stampin' Queen, coming at you from my studio in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. And I come onto YouTube every Monday to stamp with you guys. Now you might be catching me on YouTube, you might be catching me on Facebook. Either way, make sure you subscribe and follow so that you know when I am on here ready to share some stamping fun with you guys. So we're gonna play with some items from my annual catalog, but there's a couple of things that are coming up that I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of. First of all, if you were not able to get the Common Camellia stamp set, you have a chance. I have been stockpiling these since last celebration. I only have a few left, so this is a very limited time offer. This stamp set was actually a host-only stamp set during celebration, so you could only get it if your party or order went over $300. So like I said, I've been stockpiling them, and I have it available as a free order-based offer. So if you hop down in the into the description of this video, you will find a link to this class, but act now because there are only a few stamp sets left. But I am actually giving away the stamp set a free pack of rhinestones, and a free class with your $50 purchase. Now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you register for the class first. So get down into that description. If you're on Facebook, it might be showing above. Either way, get into the description, go to the registration link, reserve your class, reserve your stamp set, then you'll be able to place your order. I don't want you placing an order in the event that my stamp set should have sold out. So make sure you get your stamp set first. And then this is my class that I'm offering. It's called a, the whitewash technique. And you can see I have a couple different colors here. I've got soft suede, blackberry bliss, Mary Merlot, starry sky, and uh, Evening Evergreen. So you are going to get everything you need to create these five cards. Now you will need to add your own ink, okay? I can't supply the ink, but you will need to, or you will get all the, the paper products, right? So you're gonna get everything ready to go. You will stamp, do your technique, and put together. Now I did use all five of those ink colors that match the cardstock, but you could definitely get away with just stamping all in black as well. So for the whitewash technique, you are going to need blender pens and a white craft ink pad. Now you can use a chalk marker if you should happen to have one of those, or a white watercolor pencil if you should happen to have one of those. So again, I'm going to give you um, the five supplies that you will need to create the cards. You will get a PDF and a video tutorial for this, as well as your stamp set for free and your free rhinestones. Uh, so make sure you check that out. That is a limited supply only. Now, if you already have the stamp set, you can also get the rest of the stuff for free. Information is in that registration link. Also, if you're not local to me, uh, I have shipping options as well. Now you would have to pay for shipping, um, but the, uh, the class and the stamp and everything else is for free. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. Now I also wanted to make sure you know that you are invited to my tea party. Cheers, mates. Time for a little spot of tea. We are going to get together. That was a very, very bad English. My uh, UK friends, please forgive me. Uh, sometimes, you know, just that awful American accent comes out. So I could not have a tea party in my studio. I didn't have any dates to fit this in. And I also know so many of you guys come and hang out with me online. So you wouldn't be able to join me in person anyway. So we're going to have a little cuppa. We're going to have a spot of tea on May 25th, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure you head over to my Facebook page, Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen on Facebook. That's where this live tea party is going to go down. Get your favorite tea. I will be having chai tea. Maybe you have coffee. Maybe you have an adult beverage wherever you are, whatever time. No judgment. Just bring your favorite cuppa and come join me live. Now, if you can't join me live, it is okay. This will be recorded and it will also be emailed out to those who are on uh, my mailing list. Now, I will have, we will do some live stamping. I will have some projects to show with you, um, some tutorials, 
uh, prize patrol, definitely some prize patrol, a uh, wow project, and I have a special offer. So I have a class focusing on the T Boutique pre-printed cards and envelopes. These are gorgeous, you guys. These cards are already pre-printed, ready to go. All you need to do is fold them and look how gorgeous the envelopes are. So for this special class, it is running during my tea party week only. So this is a little bit of a special offer. Again, hop down into that description and you can find the link to sign up uh, for this class, but you're going to get a full pack of the note cards and envelopes. Sorry, they're not note cards. They're full size cards. You're going to get a, a pack of those, which will make 20. So you get five colors, four of each color, and then I'm going to give you supplies to create five projects. So you'll have an Orchid Oasis one, Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, and parakeet party. Now remember friends, per Stampin' Up! rules, I am not able to pre-stamp anything, so you would need to have the Tea Boutique uh, bundle, the stamp and the die, and you would need to add your own ink. But I will throw in a pack of the In Color Gems because these are so, so pretty. All right, so that's a special offer. So uh, you'll get supplies to make five cards, but you could keep on creating and you could end up with 20 in minutes. So quick and so simple using those pre-printed note cards and envelopes. All right, y'all, we should get stamping because that's really why we're here. So I wanna thank you for coming and visiting me on a Monday. Let's get rolling here. We are going to create the cards that I made in my Just Cards class. So Just Cards is a, an in-person class right here in my studio, the first Tuesday morning and evening of each month. Now, I know a lot of you guys aren't local to me, and so you would like to see what we created. And I thought it would be fun because I kind of themed it, we were going to the beach. This Everything was beachy themed. And we're getting ready for summer. We're gearing up for summer vacations. We're getting ready to head to the beach. And so I thought, wouldn't it be fun just to create some beach or summer ocean themed cards? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have got a piece of pool party here and we're gonna fold that in half. That's our card base. Now we have another piece of pool party and I'm gonna grab some Coastal Cabana ink. Now I've got that big old, big old wave here. So we're just going to ink that up with Coastal Cabana. I need it to be a little bit darker than the pool party cardstock so that the wave really stands out. And I need a piece of scrap paper, which I don't seem to have. Well, here's a piece of notebook paper. That'll work. I normally have scrap scrap paper here ready to go uh, because I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to stamp on on my desk. So I'm just going to add one big gigantic coastal cabana wave. There we are. I've got a couple little birds here. I should probably tell you this is from waves of inspiration stamp set I'll show in the bundle I'll show that to you here in a second so let's just add a couple little birds flying here above the ocean oh no we're gonna have to put a bird there I was trying to make some room on my table and that just rolled right over there but let's see if we can't cover that up with a flying bird and no one will know they're gonna know they're not gonna know all righty so here is our stamp set that we're using waves of inspiration this was a special and it carried over into the big catalog and then it does have a set of dies that go with it and there's a couple here that are not in here because we're going to use them all right, so we've got that, we've got that. This piece is for our inside. So I'm gonna tuck that in here and I'm gonna grab my Memento Black and ink up the Pelican. So he's just gonna hang out 
right here on this piece of basic white. Hello, Pelican. While I have it, I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which was supposed to be happy birthday. Is it missing? Yep. Okay. Wild goose hunt. Where would it be? Because everything was right in that box. Okay, hold please. I'm going to go look. Okay, well, this is an interesting state of affairs. I'm missing. Well, let's see if it shows up. If it shows up, we'll come back and we'll stamp our sentiment. But we can still go ahead and put this together for the most part. I'm wondering if it's in another one of my boxes. So we will check and see as we progress along here. All right, so on here, I'm going to add... Mr. Pelican, and he's just going to sit right here, and then we're just going to hold on this card because I want to put my happy birthday in some ribbon, but we're going to see if maybe that stamp does show up here in one of the other boxes, because I always keep everything in a box whenever we're doing a class in person. So you might just hold on there a second, Mr. Pelican. If it doesn't show up, I'll show you what the finished project should look like. But let's go ahead and grab ourselves another card. All right. Now, this one, I'm missing some pieces already. This is uh, interesting today. Very interesting. <laughs> Why? Oh, gosh, guys. Okay, I might need to leave you again and go cut some more pieces. I thought I had packets prepped and ready to go, but not quite. So I've got a piece of Knight of Navy here on this card. And then, of course, I have my white for the inside. I always like to put white on the inside so that you can actually see what it is that you're writing to your friend or family member. And this one has a piece of balmy blue. And let's see if this packet might have what I need in it. It does. There we go. Two pieces of basic white. Now, the one thing that we need to do uh, is hop down into the description again, scroll down, and you're going to find the dimensions of the sizes to make these projects at home. So you don't need to frantically write down or try to wait for me to uh, tell you what the sizes are. I always put them in the, in the description so you can always go back and watch. Or sorry, you can always go back and read. You don't have to go back and re-watch all the time. So let's get our basic white here and a, P a pad, balmy blue. And we're gonna take this big long piece here. This is our sailboat stamp set that we're working with. And again, that's missing also. My goodness, things must be in the wrong boxes. That happens. No big deal. But we're going to stamp our water right down there. I'll find the stamp set and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like. It's the one that works with this, woo, with this punch. So now I have uh, Knight of Navy and my stamp, my uh, sentiment here. This is from the same stamp set. Hope it's your best day ever. So this stamp set actually works very well for birthdays. Found it. Thinking of you, um, perfect for graduation. Let your dreams set sail. Adventure awaits. This is, could be a great um, ocean beachy themed wedding. So some of these, these sentiments are perfect. I really, really love this stamp set. So hope it's your best day ever. Could be for anything really. 
And then we're going to stamp, while we have the navy out, let's stamp our sailboat. Now, what I did was I placed these um, stamps on a block so that it coordinates perfectly with the punch. So one stamp, one punch, and all the pieces come out together. So let's just stamp that down. Now what I did was I, I tended to stay a little bit to the left so that I can have something to hold when I stick that piece of paper inside my, inside my punch. Okay, so it's going to go in like this. Just like that. Punch, and now all three of those pieces came out. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. So I have a shape from Watercolor Shapes. This is the one that's just all different shapes. And so I grabbed the circle. It's got circles, uh, rectangles, squares but we needed a sun right there. So we're gonna stamp that in Daffodil Delight, grab that Knight of Navy again, and put some of the little flying birds up here in the corner. There we are. So if I don't know if you guys are hearing any little cheeping in the background here. That is my kitten. We have a, an orphan kitten from the farm here and he is on a pit stop looking for his new home. But I'm letting him run around the studio today. And he's he's peeping. Which really means I'm hungry, woman. Let's get this show on the road. All right. He's also at my feet. So I have to be very, very cautious. Alrighty, so again, I will have the description or the dimensions in the description. So scroll down and I'll tell you what size you need to make this card. So we've got that little bit of balmy blue mat right around the back. And then we're going to attach that to the Knight of Navy layer. Such a simple, easy card, but so fun to do. Now, I need to do a little bit of adhesive here on my sailboat base. So I'm going to actually glue that down flat. And then I want to use dimensionals for the sails. These little bitty dimensionals work just perfect. So one sail two sails and that'll be it. That's all there is to it. So you can kind of see how this would make a great graduation card. And we are in graduation season, are we not? All the high school, college, kindergarten, middle school, everybody's graduating, right? So there is a very quick and simple card with set sail. All right, I have one more. Now, when you come to Just Cards class, if you're one of my local friends, when you come to Just Cards, you get to make two of every card. So it's almost like a mini uh, stamp a stack and I have a kitten climbing up my leg. Hey, hey, no, 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 no Claws are sharp All right next up another beachy themed card and we're gonna have a little bit bit of a throwback here With misty moonlight now I can tell you friends I miss this color I absolutely love our new in colors, but I do miss Misty Moonlight. It's was such like a dusty blue, just such a perfect color, especially for this card that I wanted to create. Now, I also did the same exact card in Crumb Cake and Espresso, uh, which looks great as well, but I really love that Misty Moonlight. And I had prepped this before Misty Moonlight went out of, out of commission. And we're going to use, I know you're curious, what is it? What are we going to use? Ta-da! Oceanfront. Love, love, love this stamp set. I had it for a little while. I don't know why I haven't played with it for a bit. And I do need a stamp cleaner. So let me grab one of those. 
because we have to swap some color here. Um, stamp cleaner, where are you? Okie dokie. So I've got a piece of basic white here and I'm going to grab this shape right here. Let's clean it just to make sure because we need to stamp it in crumb cake and misty moonlight. So I want to make sure it is clean. Nice and pretty. So let's grab some crumb cake, ink that up. But I am infatuated with this stamp set because it makes me feel like maybe I watercolored, but I have no talent when it comes to watercoloring. So it makes me feel like I'm like I'm an artist and I'm not. All righty. Now, Misty Moonlight. You could use Night of Navy, you could use Starry Sky, but like I said, I did the same project, the same card, and I used a crumb cake base and a mat of a early espresso, and that was very pretty as well. So that was the same, the same stamp. I just inked it up with the Misty Moonlight and made them meet. So now you can see where it is, ocean meets sand. Now, ocean meets sand meets clouds in the horizon with balmy blue. I had a couple little speckles, so I'm just going to stamp some speckles here. And I just have a bunch of them. Just stamp on and off a couple different times. Now, espresso, and we're going to add some beach reeds. I don't know what the technical name is, but that's what I'm calling them. There we go, in the dark. And then, while I have it, let's do our sentiment. So we're going to do our sentiment in early espresso. And this stamp set has no words at all. So you could easily add any sentiment that you choose. This is one of my favorites and it comes from Flowing Flowers. Great, great stamp set, great sentiments in that. But I think that's a fantastic sentiment for this day and age and it could be for anything. Sending a card instead of a text. Now, while I have my crumb cake, I'm gonna add a couple more beach weeds and we're just gonna put those down here in the corner. And that's it. That's all there is for this. We're gonna add a little bit of embellishment because it just works so well. So let's add this to our card front and grab some, let's see what I have here. Oh, I'm getting down to nothing with these pebbles. Yep, only brown, but that works just fine. So I'm gonna grab my take my take your picker tool and I want my sharp needle or my pointy end, right? So I want my needly end because I find you need to be very careful picking up these pebbles off of the plastic sheet. They wanna separate a little bit. So be very cautious, really get your, oh, there's two sheets in here. Uh, really get your picker tool up underneath there and get the base, and uh, so there's a sticker base that's colored, and then there's like a, a clear overlay. So you want to make sure, here's what happens if you don't. See, can you see that one? The white, the clear overlay came off of it. So I like to use my picker tool and make sure that I get up underneath there real well and take both pieces. Now, should it happen to come apart, no worries. Grab yourself a glue dot and put it back together. Oh, I don't want to throw that away. I need my plastic still. So there you go, friends. That's all there is to it with that. And that those little pebbles just really, really set it off. So there is our ocean front 
set sail and I, I did not find the pieces I need for our little pelican. So let me show you the finished project. And here is the finished one with our little pelican friend. So you can see how I had some beachy themed projects. So thanks so much for joining me, everyone, and hanging out with me here on a Monday. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel or follow my Facebook page. When you hit that, look for the bell icon and you can change that so you get notifications whenever I come on here. Every Monday, I am here on YouTube and every Wednesday, I am live on Facebook, but I stream to both so you can catch me on both places. All right, my friends, thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been a wonderful day. I hope you have a great week and um, you can always shop my online store 24 seven. You can check it out there. So thanks guys. Hopefully I'll see you next week for more Movie Monday. Bye friends.